Hey, I'm Andy. We're back with Celeste, and we're just gonna continue with the seasides. We finished the first one that we did. It was pretty short, but it also took me a pretty long time, so... Wonder what chapter 2 is gonna be like. The old site. Let's see how it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Already off the bat. It seems <laughs> kinda tricky. Because we, we're dealing with these dash blocks. Hmm. So we need to... So we get a dash. Like, we, we get a dash once we get out, but... Oh, so we can actually hold on. So we can actually hold on to the other side like that. Okay. I think I, I, think I did that in the past, but I think I forgot. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, oh no. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. <laughs> Already... Already with the... Already with the enemies. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> this is so gonna be tricky. <laughs> oh, I almost had it. <laughs> I think. The, the bottom one's gonna be tricky to get. Oh, I, I can't hold on to the wall there. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. This is gonna be a thing, huh? Oh, yeah, I think that's how you do it. That's how you do it. I just somehow landed into the spikes. Okay, it's not too bad. There we go. There we go. Oh, they only stay for that one room. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. So you got a thing there with the switch. There's two switches. Three. What is <laughs> Oh no. Why is there like a gap there? Like you can see the there's like spikes and then there's gaps. Like are we supposed to land on those gaps? Huh. Can we land on those gaps? Oh my! <laughs> oh my, I mean... Th this is what I was saying, is that the, the seaside seem pretty short. Like, this is the... This is the third area, technically, and... We're already at the Golden Heart, but... As you can see, it's... It, it's a... <laughs> it's a journey. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take me. This part seems easy. I mean, not, not easy, but... Like, this part seems like... If you get it the first time, you're, you should be able to do it the next two times. And once all the switches are hit, we grab the... You grab hold on to the platform, goes up, and then we just dash left. I take it. What can go wrong? <laughs> hmm. So I get this part. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> so, I, at, at least there's no enemies, so... I'm, I'm not being constantly pressured by the other me. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I think that's how you do it. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you do it. Okay. Just gotta take this... Slow... Oh, yeah, <laughs> you can't grab all of that. Oh my, my bad memory is not gonna be... ...of use here. <laughs> Wait... I, I actually... I actually need to see this again. So th th we got we got this part down. So after here, we dash up right, drop down right up right. Okay, I 
think I think I understand. I think. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Oh no, I bounce off. Oh, this is because if you mess up, you start all at the all the way from the beginning again. Oh, that's too high. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky. The, that last dash into the the spike ceiling. I don't think there's a way to like stop your momentum, but, like how you can do it going left to right like that. Or maybe there is. Never mind. So can we land there? Or do we have to... Hmm. I mean, once... Once you got down a part... Once you get down a section, it should... I did not... <laughs> once, once you get down a section, it should be fine. Because if you've done it once, you can do it again. I feel like this beginning part's really simple right now because I've done it so many times. Okay, so I think you have. I, I think I think I, I think I understand this so far. All right. Up, oh, right. I I felt like it felt like I hit right, not diagonal. Like this will this will be a bad time for the directional stuff to like this is a bad time for it to happen <laughs> with, with such a long section. <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't jump. Yeah, I don't think I can land on that. Just a hunch. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think I can land on that little gap of. Like, was it one spike? That's like a gap of one empty spike or something like that. Oh, I keep dashing up too early. Alright. Oh, that was cool. Oh. Oh, we're taking this in baby steps, right? I keep. It's like this is the exact same timing I keep dashing and I need to hold a little bit longer. Oh, I, I did it again. I keep always jumping the gun. Alright. Oh. See, I, I feel like that part's not too bad. It's just the, the free fall threading the needle to the switch is the most nerve-wracking part of that section. See, if this was the normal difficulty, each... I guess each section will be its own map. <laughs> More area, and then you can just restart from there. But this, but this is a seaside, so. <laughs> Why does it? I nah. So at, at the time of this recording, I did get my new controller, but I haven't tested it or anything up with it yet. So I I don't like I said I don't want to use a new controller for this game just because I've been using the same controller since the very beginning and I want to keep that like, I kind of keep that going so despite how m despite how much I feel like I'm making errors with it it's like it's the Xbox one controller so take that as you will all right focus Oh. And there's like more stuff after this too, right? Or was it just the, the triplet part after it? 
So once we get through that, we dash to the right, and then drop down, dash to the right, and then we have the triplet part. So we're we're a good chunk of the <laughs> we're, we're a good chunk of the way, basically. But like I said, short but long at the same time. Oh, that that that's tricky. I did I did not do a diagonal there. I'm pretty sure I didn't do a diagonal. Why would I do a diagonal there? <laughs> hmm. I also don't know if that new controller will actually help solve the, that, that issue or not, but I'll really be using it like playing Tekken 8 or something like that. Up, right, right, up, right. Oh! I, I could have saved it too. That wasn't even a spike wall. That wasn't even a spike wall. Oh. Yeah, the beginning part is like... Yeah, the beginning is just easy now. After doing it so many times. Yeah, just like the beginning. I, I keep messing up on the second part, but it's not that bad. Like, like I said, it, each section on its own isn't that bad. It's just performance anxiety, I guess. Just trying to get every every section done in succession without dying is that's what makes it hard. Like I said, each section like this very simple. Then if you have like a misstep with your input in one of the later sections, you're, you just have to start over from the beginning. Which I don't know if that means... I feel like the, the chapter 1's was more difficult in, the, in that sense, right? Because that wasn't based on length. I think, if I remember right. Like, it was actually pretty challenging. But it wasn't this long. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I keep doing that too. I mentioned before, like, I'm jumping the gun. I wonder how many deaths I'm gonna have just I just feel like I want to counter for this section alone but I guess we'll see how many deaths we have in total <laughs> I don't know what happened there <laughs> I might have just dashed too slow <sighs> that is so tricky How do... Hmm... So I, I think for that section we have to use momentum to jump over the spikes and then dash into the next one and use momentum rinse and repeat. I didn't really think of a strategy until I was able to get there. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I messed up. I think that's like one of the few times I messed up in this section alone. <laughs> Alright. No, why does it... Why? <laughs> like, this is one section where I don't need those inputs, please. <laughs> Way too early. 
Like that is essentially the last part of the the stage or two. Like I know they're still writing the switch. Writing the switch block up, but that should be the easiest jump. But because it's the last, it could also be the most hardest. Alright, let's try. Oh, yeah, you can't jump too high. Otherwise, you'll hit the ceiling. That is tough. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, honestly. Like, how do I, how would I do that? Oh! Somehow I did it. Yeah, somehow I did it. This is... I mean... It's still not as bad as Checkpoint 9, in my opinion. I... I held on to grab, I held on to... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh, that I, I wasn't far enough. I, I, uh, <laughs> it's so annoying when that happens, when you're so sure that you hit a specific, a specific direction, but the game thinks the, the other way. <laughs> have to be quick there. Oh, I, I could have saved that. Hmm. Oh well. I, I could have saved- I keep- Why am I struggling on the first section now? Up, right, right, up, right. Yeah, you, you also need to be pretty quick on the, the first dash there as well. Otherwise, you'll fall down into the spikes. I... Ah, oh, come on. This is... It's hard enough doing this flawlessly, because you kind of have to do it flawlessly. There's, there's some areas where you're given second chances, or you can get second chances, but... I don't need controller issues right now. There we go. There we go. All right. I was gonna say if I if I dash if I continue dashing to the left because of the block, and then somehow bounce my way into the spikes, that would just been that would have just been embarrassing. <laughs> All right. That's another seaside down. So so it seems like. But I mean, I'm I'm only basing this on the first two chapters. That they're all gonna be pretty short. I thought it was gonna be sequentially longer per chapter, but this was a lot. Or not, it wasn't. This was about as the same length as the first one. So how many deaths was that? Oh, just a little over a hundred. So the chapter one was more, honestly. So yeah, I mean. Cause like I thought chapter two was gonna be a little bit longer than chapter one, but I guess we'll see as we go. So yeah, I guess we're gonna do based off these two past chapters. We're probably gonna do a chapter video. 
But I mean, like uh, future requests aside, I could try to do more Celeste videos too as well. So <laughs> there we go. Also, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, next part's gonna be the hotel part, which will be interesting. I I feel like there's gonna be an Oshiro part because chapter two had the other me part as well. Oh, I just we're gonna do. I hope I feel like we're gonna have to do an escort part too. But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this really interesting seasides. Like this one, or not this one, but this one was more. It wasn't as difficult with the jumps I feel like as compared to chapter ones but since like I said since you had to do them in succession flawlessly or near flawlessly without dying basically that made it that much harder because if you mess up near the end you have to go back to the beginning so yeah anyways hope you enjoyed it until next time thank you for watching and have a nice day